Unexplained Mysterious Facts and Incidents There are disturbing mysterious facts in the world that some might have a hard time believing. Unknown phenomenon and pieces of lost history turn up almost every day. In this video we show you some of the most puzzling things that even some of the smartest minds can't figure out. A skeleton, 6 to 8 inches long, was discovered outside a Chilean ghost town. Hard teeth, bulging head, and scaled skin made most think this was something extraterrestrial. Only after it was declared human, did the question arise for an explanation for its size, mutations, and origin. None of those answers were ever found. Can dogs predict earthquakes? In 1975, odd and anxious behaviors of dogs and other animals led to the evacuation of a city who, hours later, experienced a 7.3 magnitude earthquake. In the Chinese city of Haikan, these observations led to an order for 90,000 residents to evacuate the city. Only a few hours afterward, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake destroyed nearly 90% of the city. The Mystery of Devil's Kettle Falls The Devil's Kettle is a massive hole that swallows half a river and no one has any idea where it goes. Over the years, researchers and curious people alike have poured dye, ping pong balls, and even logs into the kettle. They would then search for any sign of their reappearance. So far none of the contents have ever been found. Oak Island Treasure On Oak Island in Canada there is a giant hole in the ground said to house pirate treasures no one can reach. The discovery of a tree nearby with rope damage indicated tales of pirates lowering treasure into the hole below. With financial backing a group of individuals began digging. After a few years they gave up the attempt for treasure because the constant flooding became too hard to maneuver. The only thing salvaged was a large stone that translated to, 40 feet below 2 million pounds are buried. Pascagoula Abduction In 1973, two men arrived at a sheriff's office claimed to be abducted by aliens with lobster claw hands. Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker were fishing when they said they were taken. They talked in distressed voices about the abduction, told the same story, even though they were in different rooms, and Hickson even passed a polygraph exam. In 